What's poppin', what's good? You're new on Chicken with Daisy. Welcome back to Chatting with Daisy. So today, um, this is kind of like my, honestly, when you guys are seeing this, this is kind of like my revamp. So before I even get into what we're going to talk about today, literally today is just going to be simply about talking about what's new for Chatting with Daisy. So a lot of things have changed, especially when it comes to my mindset, how I view myself as a person, um, what I am looking for in relationships, not just romantic, because I'm already in a relationship, but platonic relationships, the relationship I have with myself, yada, 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 things have changed. I went to Jamaica actually in December for three weeks and it was a life-changing experience. It made me see myself from a whole other point of view and I have been loving, loving, loving this new version of myself. So I have been journaling, I have my journal that I've been journaling in the whole trip. So the whole trip, I was just writing down how I feel, the things I was getting over, traumatic experiences that were hurting me, that were bringing me down, and just kind of letting, like honestly throwing up, all, regurgitating all the emotions I've been feeling the whole year of 2020 on paper. And I feel like, I wanna say even farther than that, sorry, excuse me, Farther than that, because I feel like a lot of what I went through wasn't just um, that, like, it wasn't just that last year that really changed me. It was probably 2020 to 2019 to 2020 that really changed my point of view on how I view myself, view others, um, emotional intelligence, my spirituality journey, my hair journey, what I want to do now. Like, there's a lot of things that have changed. So, Chatting with Daisy is still a platform for mindful and intuitive healing and growth and it's still a place of free expression and just allowing yourself, allowing, listening to me but also listening to yourself about how you're feeling, what you want to achieve versus what you don't necessarily want to do anymore versus now kind of where the direction you're heading in versus being more present in the moment. It's a whole thing and I feel like this year, 2023, a lot of people have been saying it this year and I feel like it's their year. But everyone says that every year is your year because you're here. <laughs> it rhymes, but it's true. Like every year is going to be your year. Every year you're accomplishing something. There's trials and tribulations every single year of your life. So no matter how you look at it, yes, this year is your year. Last year was your year. The year coming up after this is your year and yada, 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 so on and so on. So yeah. But anyways, I'm very excited as you can tell. A lot to talk about, a lot to delve into this season of chatting with Daisy. Um, the season, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's definitely going to be in intervals. Like I'm going to release a season, take a break, release a season, take a break. Just like seasons, you know, things change, our emotions change and our perspective changes. So I want everything to be reflected with chatting with Daisy. So anyway, that is all I wanted to try and practice today. This is just kind of a run through, a test run of how I want my Chatting with Daisy episode to go. So as I sign out, I'm like, all right guys, thank you so much for watching this video and chatting with me today. Um, I hope that you gained some insight and I'm looking forward to see your perspective in the comments so that we can talk about it and even like just kind of go back and forth on our perspectives and see how we can help each other further each other's knowledge. So don't be afraid to comment. Don't be afraid to give your two cents. Your two cents is worth more than just a penny. So send it this way. <laughs> but yeah, 